Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today I'm doing another version of Jupiter Plays All the Games. It's time for Ludum Dare 31. Uh, Ludum Dare 31's theme was entire game on one screen. It's two parts. There's a compo and a jam. A compo is the two-day game jam where there's a limited amount of time, obviously. And it also is just a bit harder. You have to have all your source code done. It There's tons of little rules for it. The jam is a more lax three-day jam and it's just a little bit easier um both are pretty hard though so i'm gonna be playing as many ludum dare games as i can there's always a couple thousand i never really can play that many but i've gotten a few hundred requests um so i'm gonna be playing the requests that i get if you want to add your game to my list of requests the link will be in the description uh, if you want to find me on social media, links will also be in the description. And if you want to check out a specific game I play, links will be in the description. I'll play each game for about a minute. If you want to check out anything else, oh, it's probably blue. Next. Next, we're playing the game Mag Magnus Lens again. Um, for some reason, my, like, what is this called? Chrome page of this was too small so that it cut off the bottom. Now it's fixed. Um, click on the instructions next to the board, begin playing the instructions, say, press a space to switch between spells, click mouse button to cast spells, blessing heals blue people, um, lightning destroys red people. And then you can look here, you can space, and then you can start blasting people, because they should all be dead. You have to wait for them to charge up, though. And then you can heal blues. And smite some more reds. That's a really cute little game. I like the magnifying glass effect, and I kind of just want to smite everyone. I don't really give a fuck about healing anybody. That bad? Pretty sure it's bad. Death. Oh, there's some like red or blue people blinking on the map now. Those are the ones I must have healed. Really cool. Killing all of the people. Next. Next, we're playing the game Red Repair. Ooh. Pull weapons, shield, life support, thrusters. It's literally had no instructions on the page. Well, I don't know what to do. Arrow keys. H for hold, W for weapon, L for life support. Hmm. I don't understand games that don't give me any instructions. They just confuse me. So here's where we are. I refreshed the web page version of this game. No change. Downloaded it to my computer. And now we have a start button. <laughs> Mission 1 of 10. Oh, there's tons of stuff here. I'm A-OK, -okay, Command. No problems here, Command. All systems normal. All, all, all systems normal. Five. Systems normal. Yeah, it's a bit... It's great to start off with. JK. Get two. Get one. Actually, I'm gonna keep you. One of you here. Awesome. Good, you guys. Um, how do I make them go? Start heads. Shiba 1. Nominal. Uh, she could use a touch-up, but it's nothing major. Nothing a little duct tape can't fix. I'm, uh, I'm a little roughed up, but I'll be okay. Shiba 5. Systems. Nominal. Okay, where's repairing ships? Nothing a little duct tape can't fix. Uh, she could use a touch-up, but it's nothing major. The bastards could put up a fight. I'm, uh, I'm a little roughed up, but I'll be okay. Operational. Next, we're playing the game Build a Snowman. How to play. Grab a piece of a snowman and drag them to the bottom of the screen. The furnace temperature can be reduced by putting snowballs in the chute on the right. The lower the temperature, the higher the score when you click on the snowman. So use any piece to build a snowman and make sure the furnace doesn't hit 30 degrees. Okay, sounds easy enough. 
let this finish loading I think that was fast it loaded really fast okay that's okay kind of want snow hats pretty good I don't know where this uh, furnace is give me dish so you really it doesn't matter what these like the furnaces oh no that dropped it down furnace can't really tell where the furnace is well if we like nope I'm gonna try really really hard to get a snowman done because I don't quite understand where the furnace is Show the snowman for score. I win. I don't actually win. I have no idea where the furnace is. Next. Next, we're playing the game Bubble Mellow. Which looks cute as fuck. I love cute graphics. Just something about cute graphics. Okay. Five, maybe we can be all ten in a minute. I'm doing great. Wait, right, six or ten? Oh, my first death. This is fun, though. This is a really fun game. Pretty simple, but like really cute and such. Next. Next, we're playing the game Paper Cuts, an interactive story in one frame by Jared. Yeah. Tastes like future games. Start your story. Jaggerbones, the renowned professional beatboxer to the stars, found himself presented by a series of doors. Alright. Go through the second door. Press Q to commit Sudoku. Oh, by Sudoku they mean suicide. One day, a most nefarious beetle monger of the name Jaggerbones found himself presented by a series of doors. Can I punch you to death? I like the style, this art style. After a hot night on the dance floor, Jaggerbones' life was shortly thereafter terminated by none other than a most nefarious doppelganger. Damn it. I died. Next! Next we're playing the game Reindeers on Strike. We want money or what? This means wars. Rain down strike. Oh, I didn't read the actual. I don't know how to. Zero kills, press space to restart. A left mouse button to fire. Okay. Ah, I see. I gotta kill all the reindeers, that's so sad. This sounds like perfect for the the cursed Santa Claus jam. Which is a jam about like making a a naughty Santa basically. We only got like three entries and I was so sad because I totally wanted to like play their games, but if there is none, you know, I can't really play it. I like the like version of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer as well. Die. Graphics are nice as well. I love Christmas games. Fuck. I 
<laughs> Shit, I'm gonna die. New gun. Well, this is the first gun I had. Next. Next, we're playing the game Snake Runner, which has a download, but at the same time is actually a web page game. Um, I guess for whatever reason they don't have a restart button, so I just gotta like. All right, fuck scores. No one cares. Restart the page manually. <laughs> nope. 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 I don't know how to even... Can we duck under it, maybe? Nope, doesn't seem like it. Oh, we can. Damn it, I meant to duck under that. Alright, doing good. I didn't actually push the up air. Bit of an interesting game. Damn it. Next. Next, we're playing the game Theme Hacker. There is to remove cursors, space to remove content, enter for finish hacking. Okay. Alright. Entire game on one screen. What do I need to do? Oh, wait, I'm erasing stuff. Can I put in new stuff? So you're literally getting rid of like bits of the Lutum Dare. Here we just wanna just wanna get rid of this minus. Awesome. Put it up plus twenty five. No one needs this. I don't actually know what I'm doing to be fair. I like this, whoever recorded their hands just randomly typing. Press T to check theme announcement. <laughs> It's not a very good picture of the voting results. Next. Next, we're playing one screen game with enchant. Alright. I don't. Oh, okay. So they sort of fly around and collect these. You got 101 points. Do I have a time limit? Got 205, game over. 325. How many points do I need? It's quite the weird game. 428, yay. Game over. Alright, next. <laughs> Next, we're playing the game TV Top. It was a bit too big to fit on my screen, so I had to make it smaller. Using Chrome, so I don't know if that's gonna affect it. I don't actually think I understand how to play, so. That's like stuff happening. I'm this blue guy. I like the music. seem to be like flopping, flying around and I have to hit that star thing first and more. And we're also playing on top of a TV if you thunk it. It's pretty cool. Head bounce. I'm winning. Shit. Nope, don't catch up. Better at this. I like the graphics a lot. Next. Next, we're playing Beat Plus Track. Dodge Red, Hit Blue. I don't know what I'm doing, to be fair. Oh, I know what's happening. This is really hard. You have to like hold down enter when you hit blue notes. 
but let go when you hit red. But I'm actually getting a lot of red. You should probably do it in the beat, but I'm not. I'm doing all right. I like this. I like the music in it and whatnot. Kind of like addicting. Next. Next, we're playing the game off screen. We're playing the post LD version. Alright, right click. Okay. Left click and drag to rotate. Drag to zoom. Alright, so right click is zoom. Left click is drag and rotate. Yeah, but what am I doing? Hmm. I read through it and it sounds like certain boxes go away at certain places. Yeah, like you sort of get them chopped off, I guess, by the colors. If you drag them around, I'm not really sure what I did. Next. Next, we're playing the game Modern Dwarfare. Alright, red dwar dwarves, red panda must protect the beer barrel. WSD to attack, okay. Fires rapidly. Okay. So I am like part of the tower defense. How do I select G? I'm not quite sure how to select my towers, so I'm just gonna beat everyone up. Oh, for gun tower. Cannon press 2. That's kind of confusing, because you're not sure what really to pick. Now I see why you need to have towers. This is pretty cool how it comes and lights up different areas at different times. Next. Next we're playing the game Pixeltron. Didn't really tell me the controls anywhere, but I guess there's like dying pixels. You had a quest to fix them. What's this? I like the music. Hmm, let me make sure I'm not missing something. Alright, so this is E to open shop menu. Bought everything. Oh, here, bye and bye. Alright. So I think I upgraded my robot. I'm not even sure which is my robot. Oh, he's right over there. There's a few of them. Hi, robot. Next.